Welcome to Country Boy Gas Garage. Go check it out, Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage. The Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage. The Country Boy Gas Garage. 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 Check out Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage. Doing this one. Country Boy Gas Garage. What's up, man? That guy's channel's killing it lately. Yeah. All right, how many of y'all recognize this spot? This is where it all began. In this video, we're gonna take some time to reflect over the last few years and my YouTube journey. That's right, guys. That's why I said YouTube journey, because that's exactly what it was. You know, I didn't realize how quickly the channel was gonna grow. Um, you know, once I found that bus, I knew that I was gonna do a YouTube channel focusing on the rescue of that bus. Um, I knew it was something that needed to be documented. But like I was saying, I didn't realize how quickly the channel was gonna grow and what kind of a journey it was gonna take me on. But uh, together, as we rescued that bus and found out more information about it, it organically grew into a great journey. But now that that uh, abandoned bus story has come full circle, the channel's kind of fizzed out a little bit. The, the views have really dropped dramatically. Um, I was unable to keep up with the algorithm and well, I had to take a step back. And you know, the last couple months I haven't really made videos and it's given me time to think back and reflect over the last few years of the YouTube. And really, I don't think I've expressed how much thanks and appreciation to all you and the other YouTube channels, um, you know, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, I owe lots of gratitude to the other channels that gave me shout outs. You know, this whole YouTube journey has been uh, riddled with highs and lows. Um, definitely it's fair share of ups and downs. Uh, so I'd like to take a little time to express my gratitude to all you and the other YouTube channels. So that's what we're doing in this video. I'm gonna take some time to reflect back over the few years uh, give some thanks and shout outs where I can um, and then towards the end of the video um, We'll be talking about some things that I've been up to recently and uh, some updates on the channel and even some new content on the second channel That's right. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video for that um, But first let's take a trip down memory lane Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video kind of welcome you to my channel the bus. We're gonna take a closer look at it and uh, I'm gonna show you what's inside. Well, I do believe I can get this motor to run. I'm hoping. Doing country Boy Gas Garage. This guy's going places. I can't wait to show you his channel. This guy's taking off quick. I mean, check this out, guys. He's doing a really great job. I told you, man, this guy's special. He's going places. I have... If she fires up and runs, I might try to drive it out of here. Check it out, Country Boy Gas Garage. We've been working on this 48 to 52. Finally got her running. And I'm still blown away how fast the channel grew. You know, those bus videos really gained a lot of traction and quickly gained subscribers and got monetized. You know, that first bus video was only the second time I filmed myself and made a video. Um, and I think it was only the sixth or seventh video that I was monetized. And what I think it was the ninth bus video, the first wash, we hit a million views. That was my ninth bus video. Now that happened all so quick and I'm very grateful, guys. You know, with all those highs, 
definitely came some lows and one of them was when my channel got hijacked and then deleted by YouTube. Some of you may remember, so I did want to take a second to thank all of you, especially the other YouTube channels that stepped up and gave me shout outs. Um, let's take a moment and check out some of those clips. Guys, my YouTube channel got hijacked by a virus and then YouTube deleted it. It's all gone. That's right guys, everything's gone. All my videos, all my subscribers, my whole channel is gone. It doesn't even exist. This is so devastating guys, I can't believe it's all gone. Now I have been in touch with the YouTube support team, but it's not looking good. Sunday morning I answered an email and it was an offer for a partnership. Okay, so I was kind of gullible and I accepted it and I downloaded the link. It turned out to be a virus. Um, huge mistake on my part. So I click on the link and instantly my Google account access information had all changed. All the login information changed and I was locked out of Google account. All my recovery information had been changed. Um, Google account didn't recognize me at all and I could not get logged in. Uh, that's when I checked my YouTube channel and was unable to get logged into my YouTube channel and realized it had been taken over. It was hijacked. They changed the name the imagery, my icon, and they started running a live stream. Um, something about Bitcoin or encrypted currency or something. Um, a horrible feeling to lose all the control of everything I had. Um, so like I was saying, they changed all my login information, my recovery information, and Google account didn't recognize me anymore, which runs YouTube, and I was unable to log into YouTube. It was uh, hijacked by the Bitcoin company. They changed my name from Country Boy Gas Garage to MicroStrategy, and they started running a live stream, on, and that ran all night. Um, I tried contacting YouTube through the feedback section with no response all through the night. Um, the next morning, when I checked the YouTube channel, it was gone. Completely de deleted. Uh, no more Country Boy Gas Garage. Country Boy Gas Garage, he had about 20,000 subscribers. Someone uh, hacked his channel and deleted it. And I don't do a lot of shout outs. I don't do a lot of promos because I have 100 people ask a week. But that sucks. So if you guys did follow him and you didn't know that, uh, go give that dude a follow. And Hey folks, one of our car community YouTube channels uh, has lost his YouTube channel. Long story short, it's uh, Jason Kellogg over at Country Boy Gas Garage. Anyways, just keep Jason uh, in mind and uh, make sure you head on over there and check out his channel. Uh, he was putting out some really good content. And I know how devastated I would be if this was to happen to me. Uh, we are a community, we support each other. Uh, we lift each other up uh, in times like this. So now's the time to head on over to Jason's channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, show him your support by being a subscriber. Uh, hey guys, Country Boy Gas Garage. His channel got deleted by YouTube. So go to his new channel. I'm gonna have the link in the description and show him some support. It's a big hit to him. Uh, his channel was growing very well, doing great and uh, it's another automotive YouTuber, so you're gonna like it. Especially if you watch my stuff, go check him out. Give him a subscribe if you do like it. And uh, let's help him out, guys. Appreciate it. Country boy, gas. Guys, it's PW and back out in the garage. I wanted to start this video off and talk about what happened to my good friend, Country Boy Gas Garage. One click and hit a channel he worked so hard to build evaporated. It was gone. 20,000 subscribers out the window. He could have let it get him down. He could have thrown the towel in and said enough, but he didn't. I mean, he picked himself up, brushed himself off, and he's put his channel back together. I appreciate it a lot if you guys that support me go over and support Jason. We're a small group, we all stick together. Whatever happens to one of us happens to all of us, at least as far as I'm concerned. All right, especially whenever it's somebody like Jason. Yeah, Country Boy, I heard that. Your channel got hacked and deleted. That sucks. Hopefully they can recover that, maybe. 
So if you guys haven't or were subscribed to Country Play Gas Garage, go check him out. He had a 48 to 50 Ford bus with a Y block in it. it was really awesome. But I also want to give out a shout to uh, my buddy Jason over at uh, Country Boy Gas Garage. If you guys don't know yet, he got hacked. It's just devastating to be an influencer and put in the kind of work that we put in to do these videos for everybody. And to wake up one day, go and log in your YouTube and all your videos and all your subscribers are at zero. So check him out. Let's get him back up to his, uh, where he was. And, um, you know, give him a little comment if you can. Let him know that you're thinking about him. Let him know that, hey, you know, we're here to support as car guys, you know. And he had a good thing. He, he has a good thing going on over there with that old bus that he pulled out of the woods. So anyway, Country Boy Gas Garage. I'm here to talk about Jason over there at uh, Country Boy Gas Garage. And the dude was just <laughs> skyrocketing, right? I was super happy for him. He got that bus going, drove it out of the forest. He had, um, took it home, washed it with you know his wife and kids and everything. Everybody loved it, made some awesome videos. Like, they went viral, man. It was like a million views. And then some, some guy, who can't do something on his own, took over his email, took over his YouTube channel. The guy had like 20,000 subscribers, killing it, just killing it. And now what, right? YouTube's supposed to be helping him. He's going through it, you know? But I hate worse than people take, uh, taking advantage of people that I care about. That's. So I'd love to get my hands on the guy, but we can't, right? What are we gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Jason started another YouTube channel, Country Boy Gas Garage. Go to that YouTube channel, subscribe to him, tell your friends, share it all over the place. Let's get him back to where he should be. So, uh, Country Boy Gas Garage back out there, man. If, uh, if y'all would, go check out Country Boy Gas Garage on YouTube. So he's been doing YouTube for a little while now. Big fan of the, uh, big supporter of Restored, our channel here. And somehow he has got been hacked and his old channel has been deleted. So I, I, I believe he had around 19,000 subscribers and now you can tell he's, he's restarted a page. He's got 280 and uh, trying to start over again. So uh, I can only imagine how that must feel just to have everything just kind of ripped out from underneath especially when it's done like that it's just you know it's, it's just wrong it's i hate that stuff like that happens but uh, unfortunately it does and it, and it has with him but because i know he had some really cool videos on that bus you see behind him there pressure washing it off had a ton of views just basically taking it from the woods to driving it or you know to getting it up and going and all all this kind of the steps of uh, you would take on on doing something like that so be sure that you go check him out and give him a subscribe. It's super easy. You click a button. So. Okay, so listen up because this is important. There's a pretty good chance you have already seen and subscribed to Country Boy Gas Garage. His Google account got hacked and then he lost his entire YouTube channel. He's rescued this old school bus out of the woods and he's been working on that. He's a great guy. Jason's an awesome guy and a great channel and it's just a total shame that it's gone and so please 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 go check out country boy gas garage and give him a uh, give him a subscribe give him likes give him you know comment on his videos let's get that channel built back up as quickly as we can all right thank you very much what would you do if you woke up to find your youtube channel had been deleted all files removed years of video work gone this happened recently to a fellow YouTuber. That channel was Country Boy Gas Garage. Jason Kellogg. He'd been working on an old school bus. He had attained over 20,000 subscribers and it's now all gone because of hackers. So hop along, check out his videos, check out his channel. Please subscribe. Let's get Jason back on track. A bit on my a couple of days ago, Country Boy Gas Garage had a channel videos so were getting huge, huge views. His channel's growing fast. Go give this guy some support. Righty guys, cheers. 
So now you know why I feel the need to make this video even after all this time. So amazing. That's why I keep going on and on about all the support. Um, I still get a little choked up when I think about it and watch these clips. You know, I'm going to cherish all those kind words more than you'll ever know. Well guys, they still haven't recovered my YouTube channel yet. Now I want to start by expressing how much thanks and appreciation I have for all the help and support from everybody. The viewers, subscribers, the other car channels on YouTube. Um, I'm overwhelmed at how much support that came my way. Thank you so much everybody. So many of my favorite channels have stepped up and uh, showed their support for me and sent uh, viewers and subscribers my way and I really appreciate it. You know, huge thanks to Puddin from Puddin Fab Shop. He gave me a shout out in his video last night and it's brought a lot of viewers and support my way. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Restored. Thank you so much, guys. Lance, Wyatt, and Christian, uh, thank you so much for the kind words you said the other day and the shout outs on your live stream. It's really brought a lot of people over to my new channel and they've really shared their support. And thank you so much for that. It really means a lot to me. And next is my boy Brad over at Four Boys Garage. Thanks, Brad. Uh, you really said some kind words and uh, let people know what was going on. You brought a lot of people my way and I really appreciate it, man. So make sure you go over to Poor Boys Garage and give them a subscribe. Let Brad know uh, what a cool thing it is to help me out and how much we appreciate it. And check out his videos. You won't be uh, disappointed, I promise. Uh, thanks, Brad. Let him rip, not rot. Now, Jason, over at OCG, old car guy, he was the first one to put out a video expressing uh, his concern and his support for me and letting everybody know what had happened. So thanks, Jason. I really appreciate that. Oh, and somebody else has really helped me out. You guys got to go check out his channel and give him a subscribe. Is John Wilburn. He's the event organizer for the No Name Nationals, and he's really reached out and helped me and showed me a lot of support. So please, guys, go over to John Wilburn's channel, give him a subscribe, and check out the No Name Nationals if you haven't already. And then I have to give a big thanks to Brian at BW's Garage. Thanks, Brian, for all your support and everything you've done, all the good words you've said for me. Um, please, everybody, if you haven't checked out uh, BW's Garage, go over there, give him a subscribe, let him know that you appreciate what he's done for me. Um, check out his Friday night live streams where a bunch of other channels and viewers get together and they share their uh, projects and what they're working on and it's a good time. Uh, please go show Brian your support. I appreciate it. And there's a few other channels also that have shared their uh, support and got the word out for me. So I'll try to put the link to all their channels in the description below. You know, I don't even think words can express how grateful I am. You know, and that was only a portion of the channels that reached out. Um, so many viewers and other channels. Um, I mean, Chaz from Bruglisi Speed Shop. Man, thank you, bro. Knowing you have my back means a lot. Uh, if there's anything you ever need, brother, reach out. I owe you. As well as Shop Cat Industries, Scott's Rods, Glenn, so many of y'all. Thank you. Now, even though this is one of the most difficult times in my life, I still felt empowered by all the support I was getting from you. And I kept trudging along until we finally got that news. Woo! I just got my channel back, guys. Let's go! That's right, guys. I just got my YouTube channel back. You know, two days ago, Google uh, uh, restored my Google account, and then late last night, my YouTube channel popped back up. It was under the wrong name still, the Micro Strategies, and it doesn't have any of my imagery, and all my information has been deleted, but the videos are there. That's the most important part. So now I've gone back and started switching the name and putting some photos in there, and it might take a couple days, but we're going to get the channel all rebranded back to where it was and uh, get back on track, guys. Ugh! Now I want to start by expressing how much thanks and appreciation I have for all the help and support from everybody. The viewers, subscribers, the other car channels on YouTube. Um, I'm overwhelmed at how much support that came my way. Thank you so much everybody. So now I got my YouTube channel back. And with all my subscribers and a whole lot of new ones and a lot of encouragement from you guys, I dove headfirst back into the bus videos. 
um, we trudged along getting this bus back on the road video by video going through the bus systematically fixing all the mechanical parts and this is a very special time for the channel a lot of growth and recognition for what I've been doing um, you know our local newspaper the Register Guard they came and did a story I was invited to be on a local radio station and some of the greatest news at this point in time was that we got in contact with the church uh, Pastor Jeff reached out to me uh, somebody had shared the videos with him and they were watching the videos at the church and I decided let's drive the bus back to the church and share with him what we'd been doing and he told me that there was a member that remembered riding the bus as a child and I knew the new mission was to drive the bus back to the church for a reunion. So I got busy fixing that bus. Systematically and video by video, we went through that bus and got it back on the road. Man, it was so great. Uh, we started getting lots of sponsorship offers um, and the channel just really soared. You know, during this period, it followed that uh, first wash video that done over a million views worldwide. And it brought subscribers from all over the world. Still so amazing to think about. You know, I had interviews with some London journalists that did an exclusive story in London. Um, a Brazilian newspaper did an article on it. Um, like I was saying, guys, worldwide. Uh, by the way, Country Boy Gas Garage is in the house. Cool guy. So glad he got his channel back. Really happy for him. Very nice guy. If you're not subscribed to Country Boy Gas Garage, go check it out. All I have to say is this. The guy finds a 48 Ford church bus in the woods and drives it out after it's been sitting for decades. How do you top that? That's a mic drop of a channel theme, right? Oh, no. Some of the greatest news that has happened since the last video is that we are now in contact with the church. We're going to drive this thing to the church. So let's go take a look and see what we're going to need to fix to make this happen. In this episode of Country Boy Gas Garage, we're deep into a clutch replacement. Hey, on this episode of Country Boy Gas Garage, we're installing new parts on this old bus. So let's go. That's right guys, we got a pile of new parts to put on this old bus. In this episode of Country Boy Gas Garage, we finally installed this painless performance wiring kit. So let's go. How's it going, Jason? Going good. How's it going, John? All right. Thanks for joining us. Next weekend is reuniting his 48 Ford church bus with the church that it used to serve. So Country Boy Gas Garage, he did send me a couple stickers out, so thank you for that. Country Boy Gas Garage. If you guys don't know Country Boy Gas Garage, man, check him out. He's out of Oregon. And he's the one that does that, pulled that shorty bus out of the woods and got it running and driving. He's awesome, man. Check him out. Uh, Country Boy Gas Garage went sick. So here's the bus I was telling you guys about, how he pulled it out. Now, guys, I'm still blown away at all the interest this bus has brought, both on YouTube and off. You know, we've gotten so many wonderful comments worldwide from continents all over the world. Pretty amazing at how many people love this bus and its story of resurrection. Now, like I said, I couldn't have done it without you guys. From everything from you guys watching the videos and sharing the story, to stepping up financially and helping as well. With your super chats and even sending items and parts to help with the bus build. And we did a small fundraiser as well. But one of the biggest financial supporters of this whole bus resurrection was Harris Pepper. Now, we couldn't have done it without you, Harris. He financially helped with the bus build and he brought a lot of people to the channel and brought a lot of attention to the story. So once again, thank you, Harris.
Now with all that work we did over that period of time, the craziest thing is we never had to work on the motor. I mean, other than rebuilding the carburetor and putting a new starter and alternator on it, I've never pulled the heads off or even adjusted the valves. As a matter of fact, I haven't even done the timing because, well, the distributor is still fused to the block. But the thing starts right up, idles, and it doesn't smoke. And with that, it was time. Not knowing if that motor or the bus would make it, we attempted to drive it back to the church. By far, my favorite video. Check it out. In this episode, we're going to drive this abandoned 1948 Ford F5 church bus back to the old church it used to reside. We're going to show up at the reunion and show them what we found. Now this bus hasn't been on the road in over 25 years, so there's no guarantee we're going to make it. But it's time, and there's no turning back now. So let's go. And we're off. All right, guys, we made it to Country Boy Gas. Uh, I come here a lot to take pictures of the old cars, and you see it in my intro. I had to stop here at the bus. Cool old gas station, Country Boy Gas. Stop here and take photos of the hot rods sometimes. You know, you've seen it in my intros. I had to stop here in the bus. Well, we're gonna load up and keep on moving, guys. Let's go. We made it to Wilsonville, Oregon. We're about 20 minutes away from the church, but it's been a long day. We're gonna stay the night here at a Motel 6, and uh, first thing in the morning, we're gonna finish the trip to the church. You know, tomorrow about noon is the reunion, and uh, well, we'll see you there.
All right, guys, we made it. Uh, Stafford Baptist Church. Uh, it'll be a beautiful day. So the food was served, the band played, and everyone enjoyed the day. Boy Gas Garage, and this is a 1948 Ford F5 church bus that I found abandoned in the forest. Then eventually, we all gathered together in front of the bus for some stories and to take some photos. Now this is Mary. Mary is the one who remembers riding this old bus as a child. Turns out her dad would volunteer to drive the bus, and she rode right behind him in this very same spot of this photo taken by my wife. So thank you, Mary. It was very wonderful to meet you, and I loved hearing your story. Now, I did learn a little bit more history of the bus from Pastor Jeff Hart, like that the mechanical restoration and paint job was done just down the road from the church in a barn owned by John Duncan. And all the hand-painted signage was done there by Barbara Angel Schultz. <laughs> well, as the evening grew close and the rains got stronger, everyone started home. That included us, so we loaded up and quickly hit the highway, knowing it was a long drive home. Now I want to say thank you to everyone that helped make this trip possible, including Pastor Jeff Hart and everybody that helped donate or support this trip in any way. And a very special thanks to my amazing wife Peggy and to my children. And thanks to Tim and his son for helping me video this trip. And of course, thank you to all my members, subscribers, and viewers. I couldn't do it without you. guys now you know why I keep calling it a wonderful journey a perfect combination of me this bus and you guys together we created a story that everybody loves you know to me the greatest part of this whole story was learning the history of this bus and meeting with Jeff Hart Mary and the whole church I couldn't ask for a better ending to this whole series you know, I absolutely feel blessed to be the one to rescue this bus and to be the one to share it with the world. As a matter of fact, it's still being shared. Uh, every day I get new comments from people all over the world watching the bus series. And every time we enter this thing into a cruise or a car event, there's a whole new wave of uh, subscribers and people interested in the, watching the videos. By request, I'm making a re-edit of the whole bus series into one epic video. So be on the lookout for that video, guys. It's going to mean a lot to me for you to watch it and to keep sharing the story. You know, looking back now to before I even had YouTube or started working on this bus, and I was just thinking about all this, I had no idea it was going to go this far. Now, after that church reunion video was over and the bus revival series had come to a completion, the views dramatically decreased. They were only a small portion of what they were before. And I badly wanted to keep the channel growing, so I continued making videos, which were somewhat successful. But the reality of it was, I was neglecting time with my family and falling behind on my homesteading chores. Now, if you didn't know, I live on a, a homestead of ours up here, and we've built and created everything here. And before this bus series had started, that was our main focus. But once we started the YouTube and this whole bus series, it really took time away from all my duties here on the homestead, and it was jeopardizing time with my family. And once the views started to decrease, I realized I had to take a step back and get caught up on things, spend some quality time with my family, and really get caught up on my homestead. 
But that gave me the time to step back and reflect on this whole YouTube journey and what triggered this video to really want to say thank you and show you guys what a great journey this has been for me. But now working around the property, I realize that the homesteading duties and stuff that I'm doing here is probably a YouTube series in itself. So that's what I'm going to do on the second channel. I'm going to start a family blog slash homesteading series. You know, we built our home and everything you see up here. Uh, we started with nothing in the forest up here in Oregon. So if that's something you're interested in, go over to my second channel and subscribe and be on the lookout for those videos. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. And with that being said, we're far from done with Country Boy Gas Garage. I'm just excited to get right back into videos here as well. You know, we've got that Field Find 59, that 1959 Chevy El Camino. We just got started on that and we've got plenty more to do. Of course, we'll keep working on the bus and we got the 70 Chevy Nova and a few rat rods as well. So stay tuned for more great content here and be on the lookout for my second channel. And well, you know how this part goes. Like, comment, share with your friends. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Until next time, peace. <laughs>